they have walked this way before, in the shadow of the death camp, along the railway track, through the snow. Auschwitz survivors tonight retracing steps they took with more than a million men, women and children who were put to death here. Earlier, beneath a giant tent that enclosed the gates of the world's most notorious extermination plant, 300 survivors relived one of the darkest episodes in mankind's history. How can one erase the sight of human skeletons, just skin and bones, but still alive? How can I ever forget the smell of burning flesh, the heartbreaking and weeping of the children torn from their mother's arms by the brutal action of their torturers will ring in my ears until I am laid to rest. 70 years ago today, Russian soldiers liberated this camp and discovered the evidence of Hitler's so-called final solution to the Jewish question. Today they remembered six million people, most of them Jews, who were murdered in the death camps with a determination that their stories must not be lost. Steven Spielberg, who made the movie Schindler's List, today released an educational film to constantly remind the world. Trains full of Jewish prisoners, sometimes several thousand people a day, begin arriving at Birkenau from nearly every country occupied by Nazi Germany. They have no idea what awaits them, no inkling that their fates and those of the ones they love will be decided in a matter of minutes. There was appreciative applause but this was not a day for celebrities or for the heads of state present. It was for the survivors, who'd begun early this morning bringing their memories and wreaths to the camp's notorious wall of death, where many who escaped the gas chambers were shot. We joined Auschwitz survivor Susan Pollock, a Hungarian Jew who now lives in London, as she retraced the footsteps of her entire family into the gas chamber. My thoughts are of greatest sorrow imaginable and anger. Sorrow that my, my entire family, extended family, came here with their many children and I've lost everyone. More than 50 members of my family were murdered. Coming here again was difficult but so important a view shared by many tonight. Most of the time, you know, I, I was choking up. I couldn't stop crying. And I'm, I don't get emotional many times, but it was just unbelievable, you know. Tonight, once again, tears have been falling along with the snow as they remember what happened here and pray it never happens again. Paul Davis, ITV News. Auschwitz.